friends. New friends. If you're here from the shorts video, it's pretty popular on it, aren't I? Well, sit back and relax. You know, grab a beer. My first beer in a month. 30 days or 60 days. Who knows? And I like reading cards. All right. A geisha who is clearly Ronald McDonald. Okay, so McDonald's. I had McDonald's like two times last week. No, we did like four. No, we did four, like four shoots of it. <laughs> Eating huge bowl of pasta like a... Oh, <laughs> who I don't want to say that word. Eating a huge bowl of pasta. We'll just be nice about it. The breakup of Yugoslavia. Mm, interesting. Receiving pleasure at Burger King. Hmm. <laughs> a lot of food things. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is really funny. The, <laughs> I would say peed my pants. Here's a good one. Uh, shit in me britches. Shit in me britches. <laughs> no, that's a Mandela, Mandela effect. Oh, goodness. Oh, Whoa, this is hilarious. The horrible things that giving birth does to your vagina. <laughs> That's not funny. Yeah, just, just have fun. Oh, my Lord. That last one was naughty. It was bad. It was bad. So let's jump into the illuminated tarot. This is Sophia's deck. I don't own any tarot cards. But anyway... The little book you can learn where we're learning a little bit. Maybe one day I'll own some. I don't know. I'm really into, I collect playing cards. I have lots and lots of playing card decks and um, game, you know, like playing games kind of decks. So it's so pretty. And um, the, um, I was looking at it and like the Spain and the club, it's different meanings than, than the playing card readings are. Um, than the playing card meanings, and then the, different than the regular tarot. It this has its own like deciphering language, but I have the ability to to switch back and forth with the playing cards, and then my interpretation what I get from spirit, and then um, uh, and then of course what the book says on the way the author you know the way the artist and the author made it so interesting. All right. So I'll go ahead and shuffle. Be right back. All right, I got the deck shuffled good in the, and they placed the ones that came out on the top. So the first card, and I'm gonna see it first and interpret it. Okay, here's that King of Hearts right off the bat. Okay, so oh, and he's shaking his cup, boy, and it's double cups really, and um. I see a lot of green rain. It's really beautiful. Look at the butterflies. The hearts. It's really pretty. And the new audience coming in. Loving and kind, right? The shorts audience coming in from all around the world. Loving and kind to me. <laughs> right? Oh, Queen of Diamonds. Wow, how beautiful. Hmm. Look at her third eye. Look at her hair. Remember when I had that blonde hair? <laughs> so pretty. So serene. So grounded. Look at the pretty flower. I love flowers, by the way. I love flowers. Scents and flowers and stuff like that. Oh, and the Queen of Swords. Okay, yes, this is uh, Libra Gemini. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, Korean, yeah, um, energy. And um, this is tolerate no shit. I, I definitely don't tolerate anything. Any crap. <laughs> um, I sort up. Oh, look at the pretty blue eyes. Look at her pretty eyes there. Yeah, and that's a spade, yeah. And I go back and forth. I'm I, really sweet, but I, I don't take any, tolerate any, uh, any, uh, it's like uh, bullying, begging. Um, it's called taking someone for granted and using them. I don't tolerate that on my channel. I mean, 
I didn't know how to get rid of these people. Then I learned into spell work and I learned how to do shorts and I learned how to do other ways of bringing in new people. And then you just remove, you unsub and remove all these people that treat you like trash by batches and batches and batches and batches. And you get so good over, over the years. You get really good at it. But ten of a club. Okay. Oh. Look how pretty in here. Look at her little I don't know what's score. Okay, no, it was in the reverse. But to me, um a little shy, a little peaky peaky. Oh, a little shy. But also a hard worker. Could be carrying a big load. A big load. Strong. Buff. She's buff, huh? <laughs> oh, this, is, this reminds me of the sun. I'm going to use this as the, uh, yeah, the nine. And it does remind me of the sun. But it also has a different meaning on here. Um, so we'll do the double meanings, okay? We'll show you the other. I'm going to read out loud the second meaning that this author made it okay be right back get the page okay yes in this deck it is the sun and it's a little bit different meaning but it's almost, almost the same okay clarity simplicity and new life and in the other tarot i study um it's like a happiness it's like the ultimate card you know and that ten, that ten of clubs that I was showing you, that I was saying it could be a heavy lifter, um, a responsibility, a responsibility or a burden. But it came in the reverse, and to me it was like peekaboo or shy from. To me it was like shy from responsibility or very shy, coy, um, or a burden. You know, I know it, it's like those premieres being hammered at constantly you've got to tell you got to put people in their place and say i've had enough of this shit with all this rhetoric just write your comment at the bottom or i don't know i don't do email i don't believe in any of that stuff to me it's garbage you know uh, um somebody said if they have something to tell me they'll tell me to the face i don't need you to tell me the face i don't care i don't care you know i do this channel for me <laughs> You know, I do this channel to go do viral stuff and have fun, you know, uh, learn together. <laughs> oh, God. So 10 clubs, a responsibility or burden. So that would be the opposite. So to me, it's a luxurious. It's fun. Yeah, this is like reading these cards. My back is relaxed. I feel much better. Yeah, it doesn't feel like a burden, like... People bother me on their premieres. Just don't write any fucking comments on my premieres. God, I've said it a thousand times. Because I want to be able to put like 10, 20, 30, 100 premieres back to back to back and go to sleep and not have to pick up the tablet and answer. <laughs> Is this so hard? <laughs> yeah. Just write a comment below or I close the comments. Don't worry about it. <laughs> huh. Burden or, yeah, responsibility. So it's like, you don't have any responsibility. It's like, ah, oh, time off. Ah, oh, relaxation. That's what that meant. Such positive cards. Such positivity. Because I got rid of the negative people. All right. Oh, four wants. 11 of love, baby. Right here. Twin flame, baby. Twin flame. Love and um, heart connection. Am I so peacock? Oh, and my beautiful lucky, lucky clover. Uh, you know me, my club. Oopsie, have them over my bed. Shamrock, luck, money, and luck. This is luck and love. This is luck and finance. This is finance going good. Uh, health improving, you know. This reminds me of the little terror, the little terrorist at my dad's mansion. They um, he had um, roses all coming down like a vine, and you go through it. I don't know if you guys remember that. Yeah, yeah. It's also the marriage card. Oh well, ten of hearts, ten of cups. I mean, this is the I Ching, you know. 
uh, restful relaxation. Look at the look at the animals, the bird flying, and it's kind of like almost like a phoenix or an Egyptian bird actually. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it's it's got some sacred geometry and the cups all around. I mean, my life is ten of cups. It's fabulous, you know. And that's the ten of cups. This can represent oh evolution of uh, maybe a promotion or you're being hired from a job yep oh keep your this jack is message coming in keep your hand close okay i'm gonna being instructed to read the uh the author's meaning so let me get the page out I'm being instructed to read both of these together. Okay, so this is the Jack of Spades. And I'm being... Um, instructed to read the, these other ones. Okay. Jack of Spades. Caution. Caution or potential. Okay. Okay. Or potentials. The potentials. And then Ten of Spades. Judgment. It's the judgment waking up. It's the, it might come out too. It's the little uh, rooster waking up. Wake me up before you go. You know how I always put a, I dance to that and stuff. Wake up an announcement. And yes, and yeah, it is the ten of spades. Also, the ten of spades can mean um, if you switch it to um, spade to. Um, And the other tarot deck, it means um, a heavy burden. So it's weird how they switch the burden one to a different card. So this author has different meanings for for the cards that you would read a different way in a, a standardized tarot. And it's totally different than the playing cards. I love studying. This I better, rather than do this than watch any live streams or drama. or Yeah, this relaxes me. Plus, I just do a short and I get, you know, thousands of views whenever I want. This is so cool. And if you want a different audience, I have people on complaining on here if you want a different audience. Just focus on shorts. Don't don't make pe videos for anybody on YouTube. Do shorts. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so I, I studied this one with Sophia earlier. The Nine of uh, Spades. This is, oh, and this one's upside down. Okay, this one, it means um, what keeps you awake at night. But it could be good or bad, you know what I mean? All right, so we're going to interpret this. This is actually quite good. Um, excitement, enthusiasm. I'm up at night because I want to learn. I got my drinks, you know, I got my, oh, I got my chalkboard. These little chalkboards. You get the pen, Dollar Tree. And you write, you can write positive affirmations. I, I was hot earlier. I was trying to uh, get my uh, air conditioning to work. And I was imagining the ice. I was eating cold ice and boom, the air conditioner went on. <laughs> so great. Because you have to like trip it to get it to go. And it works great. So I'm thinking at night. So, you know, and then we'll also interpret it the negative way. <clears throat> That way, the knives, you know, who's stabbing you in the back? It could be interpreted, you know, what's keeping you up at night? What are you worried? To me, it looks like worries. What's keeping you up at night? You know, are you hating on other YouTubers or other people? Because they scored views and you don't know how? Just do the shorts. <laughs> 50 fucking times I keep saying it. <laughs> don't write me comments. If you hate me, don't write me comments. I'm just going to delete them. <laughs> I, I don't care. I don't care for hate. Hate. This is not for hate, this place. Okay, we have three. Okay, three of cups. This is a... Well, I interpret it as a re reunion. And this, this is a, a celebration card. A celebration. Like this. I want to be up at night. This is a celebration. So this is my last one. Hope you enjoy. We're studying, we're learning, and we're interpreting. It's fun. Bye-bye.